incorporate the research respondent. Step number one, define the characteristics of the research respondent. Example, the individuals who participated in the research were undergraduate students at a public university in the United States between the ages of 18 and 25 studying social sciences. Step number two, describe the sampling technique. Example, the research respondents were selected using a stratified random sampling method which categorize students based on their academic year and major. Step number three, explain the rationale for the selection of the research respondents. Example, undergraduate students were chosen as research respondents because they represent an, inform an important demographic group for investigating how social media usage impacts self-compassion and self-esteem during the critical stage of emerging adult. Step number four, Provide information about the sample size and how it was determined. Example, a sample size of 300 undergraduate students was recruited for the study based on a power analysis that showed this sample size to be sufficient for detecting significant effects. Step number five, identify the limitation and the constraints. Example, it's important to acknowledge that the sample only considered of undergraduate students from one university which may limit the generalizability of the results to other populations. To address ethical concerns, the study obtained informed consent from the participants and ensured the confidentiality and anonymity of their data. So this is how it would look like in your research paper once you combine them. There you go. That is how you write the research respondents. If you have questions, comment it down below. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Thank you for watching, mga researchers.